man, oh man, did it feel good to be down in Houston, Texas to see this matchup, man. Jackson State came into town to Houston to take on Texas Southern, and with PV losing to all Corn State, this was a game that, you know, maybe it might be a trap game. You know, Texas Southern might come out different than a lot of people expected, but I'm here to break it all down. Y'all already know who it is, Game Day Nation. Let's ride. With the first half of the game, JSU played no games with Texas Southern. Andrew Body rolls out the pocket, tries to find something open, but he's tackled for a third down. And on the first drive, first possession for Jackson State, Travis Hunter already putting dudes in a blender, already. But even with that high flying powered offense by JSU, Derek Tucker flies in right here, almost gets the sack, but bats the ball down, which is called dead at the spot. But somebody that y'all been sleeping on all year, Savon Wilkerson, y'all need to get this man his respect. And boy, Shador is just dropping dimes all game. Here goes one of them to DJ Stevens who picks up the first down. And he almost didn't get it, but that extra fight and extra push, he looked like he was trying to score. And let me tell you why this JSU team is so dominant. Whenever Shadur is rolling and Savon Wilkerson is doing stuff like this, they are going to be very hard to defend and stop, man. First touchdown of the game, 7-0 JSU. But Andrew Body in that TSU offense was not looking to go out without a fight. He dumps off this pass to Tavares Acne for a first down. And right after the first down, a lot of the times TSU would go with the run as they handed off right here to Ladarius Owens. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. TSU gives it to Owens again, and look at that hole that opens up, and he picks up another first down. And even with that first down, it was called back for holding, so now TSU was backed up in their own yards on third down, and now Andrew Body is rolling out trying to find somebody open, but almost throws an interception. This forces a punt. And after the TSU punt, JSU takes no time to get down the field. They go with a flea flicker that frees up DJ Stevens. He gets a great block from Shane Hooks right there, and he runs it in for the second touchdown of the game. 14-0 for JSU. And JSU was looking real dominant and real unstoppable on offense. I wonder what TSU going to do to counter it. Let's find out. And if you guys are questioning if Travis is that guy, well, let me show you. Look at his hips, look at his feet. He's stride for stride his receiver. He is closed off on that side of the field. But on the other side, they get a bomb over the top. And TSU took no time to punch this thing in there. Ja'Cory Howard hits his defender with a nice spin move, breaks another tackle, and runs it into the end zone. Now it's a game, 14-7, JSU. But like I said, man, that man, Savon Wilkerson, is literally a human bowling ball. You cannot get him down to the ground. And I'm pretty sure you've already seen this clip on our Instagram. If you're not following the Instagram, go follow it at HBCU Game Day. But Travis Hunter just makes this dude go flying out of my screen. And I'm wearing a wide body lens. So if he got throughout the lens, that just lets you know that he really went flying. And man, what else do I got to prove to you guys, man? Just look at this. Savon Wilkerson goes under the defense. <laughs> He just goes under all the defenders and runs it in for a 60-yard touchdown. That man is different. And with the score being 21-7, JSU is looking to hold this game out as they stuff the run right here on third down. But on fourth down, TSU lines up, goes hurry up, and they give it to Ja'Cory Howard, who finally picks up that first down for TSU. And even though TSU was getting under pressure all night, I feel like this is what they should have done more. A lot of play actions to pull those linebackers down and throw it over behind them. All right, now let me show you the game inside of the game. Body sees his receiver, flips his hips to get ready to make this throw, but Travis plants his foot and drives on the ball. This leaves Body to have to pull the ball down because if he throws that, that's a pick. That's the game inside the game. And on fourth and short, TSU decides to kick a field goal, and it's no good. So this gives JSU the ball right there with their backs against the wall. But they hand it off to Savon Wilkerson, and you know he going to fight and much for every single yard he can get. But suddenly, TSU started to play great defense. They got it together in the back end, and Shador had nothing open. So he rolls out the pocket, tries to find somebody open, but he runs and tries to get that first down. But you know, man, y'all don't watch the videos enough. JSU gonna throw that thing down the field. Shadur drives back, loads it up, and finds his receiver, Cameron Buckley, who has a touchdown, but drops it. And I don't think I see him for the rest of the game. <laughs> and after that drop pass, things like that is huge because of things like this. TSU dials up the pressure, and they get a sack, and this forces the JSU to a three and out. Now TSU got some momentum. Now they hand the ball off to Owens, and look at that hole once again. Looks like that TSU found something on offense that they like. But JSU adjusted to it, and they swallow up the run, and now they force a third down, and they force a punt. JSU takes the ball back, and Texas Southern is starting to play good defense now. They're forcing Havoc on Shador, rolling him out the pocket, but he finds his receiver. But there is a flag on the play for illegal touching. The receiver went out of bounds and came back in and caught the ball. You cannot do that. There's a flag on the play, forces JSU to punt. 
Now Tia's shoe is moving the ball down the field gracefully, and now they're trying to attack Travis Hunter on the outside with a back shoulder fade, but it doesn't work. Goes incomplete. And that pretty much takes us to halftime, with the score being 21-7 with JSU up. But TSU has been moving the ball on offense and not looking too bad. A couple calls not going their way, and the score could be a little bit different. Let's get back to it at the halftime. First half the half, JSU is looking to sling the ball down the field early, but this actually gets called for offensive pass interference. And yes, Houston did win the Houston series, but that referee was looking for an open tryout as he threw that flag from Houston to Mississippi. And like I said, with TSU having a good job of running the ball, I think that Dion challenged JSU to stop that, and Aubrey Miller came through clutch with a lot of defensive tackles in the backfield. And on third down, JSU does up the pressure, and this forces a tip interception, but Travis Hunter actually drops it, so this forces a punt. But TSU gets down the field, and Jackson State muffs the punt. So TSU gets the ball back right in the red zone. Can they score and make it a one-possession game? Let's find out. I love the play calling here. Instead of just handing it off every time like Jackson State has been accustomed to, they go with a swing pass to Owens, who gets them a pretty good chunk of yards. Now TSU is right here at the goal line. All they got to do is punch it in, so they hand the ball off, and he gets a first down on third down, which is clutch. And finally, 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 Ja'Cory Howard sticks his foot in the ground, makes two defenders miss on second down, and scores a touchdown for TSU. 14-21. And JSU <laughs> goes right back to the bowling ball as he just trucks a whole defender. <laughs> this guy is a pro. And man, one of my favorite players in HBCU football is this guy right here, Shane Hooks. Just clears his defender, man. This guy has serious NFL draft potential. And if you guys are looking for somebody under the radar, this guy is him. And with JSU bringing the ball all the way down the field, Shadur said, man, I had enough throwing the ball around the air. Let me go get one for myself as he takes it in for a rushing touchdown. Now JSU goes back up by 14 and looking dominant. And with that TSU offense coming back on the field, JSU already know what they wanted to do. Hand the ball off and find a run, but they're shutting that down. JSU gets the ball back, marches down the field, and you know who his Chador is going to. His main read, his main option, Shane Hollywood hooks for a touchdown. Now the score is 34 to 14. TSU gets the ball back, and they're still looking to run the ball. Andrew Body is looking to find something, but JSU is all over it. They try to go forward on fourth down. Body throws it up right in Travis's way again, but he overthrows his receiver. This gives a turnover on downs. JSU ball again. Shadur gets the ball, drives back, still looking to put up some more stats as he drops it off to his tight end, DJ Stevens, who picks up a first down. Then two just drops back, finds his receiver, Shane Hooks again, who just hits a nice little cut move, and he's looking to take this to the house. He gets tripped up by a defender while he's on his way to the crib. But Shadur said, man, you've been working all game for me. I'm going to give you another try. Throws it up in the back of the end zone. Shane goes up and gets it, scores another touchdown. And by this time, the game's pretty much over. It's 41-14. They hand it off to again to Savon Wilkerson, who's trying to get another touchdown. You can see it on his face. He wanted that one bad. And honestly, like I said, I feel like this is the scheme that TSU should have came with. They should have gave the ball to Body a little bit more and let him work out. But that ends the game, final score being 41-14, with JSU taking over with a dominating victory. I appreciate you guys for watching. It's Game Day Nation. We out. Game day. When the band is what you hear and everybody here is cheering, all your worries disappearing, y'all it's game day. Whether televised or streaming live in person while you're screaming, no more waiting, no more dreaming, y'all it's game day.